Brook the Yahawa Brakata, Yahawa Shah, Brook the Yahawa Brakata, Yahawa Shah, Ba Hashem, Rakakwadash, the Bahanas to the Apostles, the Elders, Salutations to you, Sincere Brothers, Teaching and Truth and Sincerity Lesson will be entitled A Trumpet is Being Blown. Lord, will you are edified. Amos 3 and 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, evil meaning bad times, and Yahweh has not done it? So, the trumpet is being blown by the prophets. And this is Luke chapter 1 and verse 70. And he, referring to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began. So remember, nothing has changed, right? So when we go into the book of um, Hebrews chapter 1, and verse 1, the Most High who at sundry times and in diver, divers manners spoke and time passed unto the fathers by the prophets, right? Verse 2, have in these last days spoken unto us by his son. So we are in the end of the end, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Verse 3, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. But the point is, verse 1 is the point, okay? James 1 and 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. That good gift, that perfect gift is what? The prophet's portion or lot in the truth, right? And come down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, meaning what? He changes not, okay? Neither shadow of turning, meaning what? He changes not. I repeat, he changes not, okay? So, again, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh has not done it? Remember, When it comes to the rulership of every kingdom, you have Daniel chapter 4 and verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will and sets up over it the basis of men. Hence Esau. The point is, the Most High rules in the kingdom of men. That's the point. Going back into what? Shall there be evil, bad times? In a city, and Yahweh has not done it.
Okay, what bad times? So, Chaz, let's go to Jeremiah. Thirty and seven, a loss, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, which means what? Straight, S T R A I T, which means a position of difficulty. But he, referring to the elect of Jacob, shall be saved out of it. Right. So we have a major pending prophecy that will be exercised on earth. So let's go to Joel, the third chapter. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again, meaning what? Deliverance, okay? For the nation of Israel dealing with the elect. The captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Verse 2. I will also gather all nations, WW3, and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat, around that Persian Gulf area, and will plead, meaning judge, with them. Therefore, my people, Israelites, and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations be of slavery and parted my land, okay? The actual land of Israel. Shall there be evil such as Jacob's trouble, such as WW3? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? The prophets prophesying. Okay, it is symbolic for a trumpet being blown in the city. According to the Hebrew for a trumpet, Strong's H seventy seven eighty two pronounced as Shawapar, Shawapar. And it goes into what really stands out, a cornet, as giving a clear sound. The clear sound is what? The judgment of Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shah. That's the clear sound, right? This video was inspired by a statement Apostle Tahar made this past weekend. It's not no vision. Nobody can jump up and say, well, you said in six months, such and such and so and so. Amongst, uh, you want to say, anything in mind, topic, you may go into some breakdowns. Okay. And um, yeah, keep keep y'all out there amongst uh, the brothers and elders, and teachers and so forth. Keep putting up keep putting up them uh, MOTB videos because uh, we feel that this MOTB thing gonna probably kick in. We're gonna start. We're gonna introduce it sometime within six months. This is my personal uh, assessment of the thing. It's not no vision. Nobody can jump up and say, well, you said six months, such and such and so and so. Do you hear the alarm? Right? Do you hear the alarm? After Apostle Tahar made the statement, put up what? The Karagma videos. But it's, but it's going to happen. And um, I believe... This is a warning, right? And also confirmation... According to Mark, the 16th chapter, and verse 20. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following to Wab. So, in the case of the videos, in regards to the Karagma, 
Apostle Tahar declared, yo, keep putting them up. And what did you hear? The sound of an alarm, which can be equated to what? Amos. Three and seven, surely the Lord power would do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And that alarm, right, indicated a clear sound. And this was also confirmation that the spirit is with Apostle Tahar, right? Let's go into Revelation 13 and 16. Let's start at 17. And that no man might buy or sell unless he that had the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Going back into Amos. Three and six. Shall there be evil in a city, and Yahweh has not done it, and WW three cannot be fully manifested until we have what? The introduction of Revelation thirteen and six, as well as the mandate. Of the Karagma, which is spoken of in Revelation 3 and 10, because you have kept the word of my patience, Yahweh speaking, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation, which is the mandate of the Karagma. Okay, that evil time spoken of in Amos 3 and 6, which shall come on all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. So everyone will be tested. However, only Israelites can pass or fail this test. Okay, and the only way the elect will pass is because they are the elect. And therefore, they will be engulfed with the Holy Spirit as well as Faith and fear in Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Lord will, this was an edifying lesson. Shalom.